Hi, everyone. I'm going to break down a great song by Led Zeppelin today, Achilles' Last Stand. The song is fast, 10 minutes long, and it has 30 part changes. That's crazy. So let's get into it. Also, please support these videos by subscribing to my YouTube channel. I would appreciate it. Here we go. Achilles' Last Stand is from the Presence album, which was a return to hard-driving rock for Zeppelin. It was recorded start to finish in only three weeks. Robert Plant had been in a car crash, and their tour on physical graffiti was canceled, so they decided to record a new album. But to make it worse, Zeppelin were tax exiles from their home in the UK because of the high 83% tax rate for top earners. So they gathered in LA to write and rehearse the album, and then they went to Musicland Studios in Munich, Germany to record it. And you can really hear the frustration in this recording. It's very raw and in the moment. The song is in 4-4, and the tempo is a beast at around 148 beats per minute. Four times in the song, though, it drops to 96 beats per minute, and the time changes to 5-4. It begins with a guitar intro and comes in with a snare hit on 4 on the resolving chord. The intro pattern is a little tricky to play with the snare fill, but it's all 16th notes with accents. Also, this pattern's a 4-bar phrase. Next, at 46 seconds, the verses start. Verse pattern is a two-bar phrase, and a verse is four bars. There's always going to be four verses in a row. At 151, a bridge happens that leads into the chorus bill section at 157. Now, the chorus build, chorus solos, and chorus vocal sections are all basically the same bass guitar pattern. Bonham plays these parts slightly different every time, so listen closely to how he plays off the bass guitar. At 341 is the first of two 16-bar guitar solos, and then at 409, the tempo drops to 96 beats per minute, and that 5-4 section starts. The first time, the count of 5 is not played on the 5-4. Every other time, it's played with two eighth notes.
At 727 is a new section I call the second bridge. It moves fast and it has that Bonham signature bass drum foot in it. It ends the way we came in with the guitar intro, a total of 30 part changes. It's a tough song to play at 10 minutes long. I personally think it's some of John Bonham's best playing, so definitely check it out. Good luck. I hope you enjoyed it. Practice hard and keep it simple. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you're new to my channel, ring the bell. Give it a thumbs up and comment. That's very important to me. I love to hear your feedback. Follow me on Instagram at Guy Gelso, and also don't forget to check out GuyGelso.com. There you can enter your email for any new events and shows I'm doing, and to get in touch with me for private lessons. Thanks for watching. Practice hard and keep it simple.